Coinbase CEO says the crypto exchange would consider moving away from the US if there continues to be a lack of regulatory clarity. What could this mean for the future of crypto trading in the US? Well, joining us now for more is Owen Lau, Oppenheimer Executive Director and Senior Analyst. Thank you for joining me this morning. So I first want to get your takeaway. Obviously, he basically was saying that a lot of things are on the table at the moment as they await this regulatory clarity. But what would happen then if Coinbase were to perhaps leave the US? Yeah, I think this is such an unfortunate situation. I mean, I think Brian Armstrong mentioned that if there's no regulatory certainty, then Coinbase were to move to other countries. And I thought like the key implication is other crypto companies based in US will also follow. And I think this is just, uh, it, 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 it's just the, the US blockchain development will be disadvantaged, disadvantaged by that because of this potential movement. And, you know, like global uh, crypto, it's a global phenomenon. And capital can move to other countries and developer can also move to other countries. I just think if that's, it's going to happen, um, the US blockchain development may be like hugely dis disadvantaged by that. So then if Coinbase were to perhaps leave the market, who would be next? Who would, who would some of these crypto investors look to for the next exchange? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I, I still think even though they said they will or they may move to other jurisdictions, they would still keep presence in the United States. And if you look at the landscape um, in US, you still have Kraken, you still have uh, Germani, you still have even Binance US is still here in the United States. So there are still other exchanges operating here. And the question is, will they follow? And I think it also comes down to, again, go back to your original question, uh, is there regulatory clarity here? And uh, I do think the uh, exchanges would still keep some presence here, e even if they were to move to other jurisdictions, but the influence in terms of the global landscape would be minimized. And obviously, we're seeing SEC Chair Gary Gensler getting grilled on Capitol Hill, lawmakers trying to get some clarity, perhaps not getting all the answers that they want. What have been some of the standout commentary that have really enveloped the space when you think of whether regulations in place do actually meet the needs or if more regulation or more targeted regulation is needed here? I think the key question came from uh, Congressman Patrick McHenry when he asked SEC Chair Gensler about whether Ethereum it's a commodity or security. And it just feels like the industry does not get a clear answer. It doesn't feel like to me, um, the, the congressman get a clear answer to that. I think it comes down to the basic definition of what determines a securities and what determines a commodity. Right now, SEC said Ethereum is a security, but at the same time, CFTC also said Ethereum is a commodity. We need to find a resolution on that. We need to define whether Ethereum or any other tokens are securities or commodities so that developer can have confidence to build innovative products in the United States. And how does that translate into some of the some of the optimism, at least that you're seeing in a coin base or in some of these exchanges that are sort of waiting for this for this regulation to be resolved here? How as an investor, then, should you be approaching some of these exchanges? Yeah, I think it's a tough time right now. And that's why we feel like there's a lot of upside in Coinbase. But at the same time, there's a lot of downside because of this un uh, regulatory uncertainty. And I would say the CFTC's comment on Ethereum, on Litecoin and some other stable coins, they claim that those are commodities that in some sense undermine what the SEC said in terms of uh, how much purview SEC has or how much jurisdiction the SEC has. I don't think it changes the landscape dramatically for Coinbase in the near term, but at least I felt like it provide a good conversation for the public. It provide a good conversation for the crypto industry to really think about uh, when or whether we should have regulatory clarity right now, because we really need a sensible regulation to move this industry forward in the United States. Otherwise, again, capital developer will move offshore. You see the maker in Europe, it's on force. 
and they are getting the vote, I think later this month, and it will be in that it's effective in 2024. In Hong Kong, they also had a law um, as well. So we want we, we really want to prevent uh, the companies here, they want to build it, uh, the innovative products here. We want to prevent them from moving offshore. And as you mentioned, the Mika, the, the European framework that they're laying out to really get try and get ahead of some of these regulatory hurdles. A big thank you there to Owen Lau, Oppenheimer Executive Director. Thank you for joining us.